hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how to do uh, phone number validation inside your react.js application and we will be doing it inside bootstrap for uh, front end framework with the error messages with the success and alert messages so you can see here this is a demo what we will be building in this tutorial so basically we have this uh, bootstrap application so where uh, this is the input field out there here you will enter your phone number and basically if you click the submit button then it will tell you whether you have entered correct number or not so basically if I enter any sort of number here or let's suppose if I enter characters here not a phone number and if I click the submit button so basically it will tell me that phone number is not valid it will show me this alert message which is in red in color basically it means that your phone number is not valid so it is showing me this error message that your phone number is not valid this is coming through the bootstrap classes here if i enter a correct number let's suppose a numeric value so basically what will happen here let me show you let me move my cursor upwards so that you can see clearly what is happening so you can see that if i enter the number then it will say phone number is valid so basically all these messages are coming through the bootstrap 4 framework if you search the alert messages are there so this is the phone number validation guys so basically we are doing the regular expression we are using it inside of a react.js application so basically if you type here add the rate symbol uh, characters so basically it will tell me uh, tell you that phone number is not valid so in this way we will be validating our uh, phone number inside of a react.js application using the help of uh, regular expression so if you're watching it for the very first time guys then please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well and make sure that you hit the notification bell icon for all the videos like this so let's start building this application so i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website codingsiksha.com so here i have given all the source code if you want the full source code you can go to the video description link to copy paste all the source code and now let's get started guys so now for building this react.js application the command is pretty simple you will simply go to your command line and simply you will write this command which is uh, n npx create dash react and then your uh, app name i have already created this which is this uh, phone validation so i will start this npm start to start the react.js application so basically we will start from scratch so inside our app.js i will delete all this code and start from scratch so you will see it will start this application so let me delete all this and start from scratch so let me have a message hello world so now guys you will see hello world will be printed out it is saying that cannot find it let me also delete this you will see hello world is printed out so right here what we need to do is that we need to now st start this application so here first of all in order to use the boots bootstrap you need to first of all install bootstrap npm i bootstrap so just install this uh, by using this command so this will install bootstrap inside your machine so simply install npm i bootstrap so this will install this dependency i have already installed it so now guys what we need to do is that we need to create an input field where we can enter the number so right here just give it a class name of container parent component so these are all bootstrap classes and right here inside this root directory just create style.css and copy paste this source code to use bootstrap 4 inside your react.js application i have given this source code in the description of this live stream so this is the source code that you need to copy paste so now after copy pasting it so right here inside this div element we will have a h1 heading which will say phone validation regular expression in react and after this guys what we need to do is that so basically we will make a brand new component which will be called as form phone component 
and basically we will pass on phone submit we will make this function which is on submit so now we need to make this component guys in the same directory which is form phone component so right here just make this file so I have given this instruction if you see here you need to make this file which is form phone validation dot js inside your root directory so just make it so just make this file here form phone validation js this is a javascript file here so right here first of all what we will do is that we will import the react module from the react dependency and also now we will be importing the style dot css and here we will be making a class level component which is form phone component extends react dot component and lastly we also need to export this so export default form phone component so right here guys what we need to do is that we can do our uh, render method so we can render out anything here so we can uh, return this something here on the screen return hello world so basically what will happen here if you check if you refresh the page you will now see hello will will be printed out some error sorry we haven't started this application so npm start so if you start your application so now this uh, this will be so it is saying that uh, ib submit is not defined form if you see export Uh, let me see oh sorry we also need to import this guys so that was a problem so we need to import form component so just import this file here so 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 just do it now you will see that this is the hello world you can see that now this is hello world is printed out as we included this so now what we will pass here we will pass a event handler which is on phone submit so when this event occurs we will execute this function which is on submit and here we will be declaring uh, a hook which is phone status so basically this will track whether the user has entered the phone number or not so use state and then we will have this function which is on submit which we will write which will have the response and we will set the phone status to response and also we will use the use effect hook guys so inside this use effect hook basically we will set uh, we will console log that from app js we will set the phone status which is coming from the different file and this is the dependency that we need to set here phone status phone status that's it so now we need to move to the form full form phone validation so here we will have uh, first of all uh, before this we will have a constructor basically we will set all the properties of this component inside this constructor we will call the super method and then we will set the state variables for first of all we will have the phone which will be currently empty this is the phone number and is valid this will be a boolean parameter so basically the default value will be false because we are checking if the phone number is valid or not so at the starting of the application it will be false and what will message we will show the message will be also empty and also this dot on change we will set this dot on change 
we will bind this method to this so whenever the input field changes this method will fire and right here uh, what we'll now do we will have uh, a render method so what we will show on the screen so we will have uh, a template message template so this dot state dot message we will say and here we will check if the message is set then we will uh, show the alert message if the message is not set then we will not show anything so let me just copy paste it and explain to you what is happening so basically we will check now if the message is set then we will show the alert message inside we are just passing these bootstrap classes of success or danger depending upon whether the state is valid or not and if this is not set then the message variable will be empty so now guys we need to simply uh, after this we need to return something on the screen so here we will use the ch child component class so here inside this we will use form group margin bottom 3 and here we will use the label and strong tag also strong tag and here we will be saying enter the phone number so in the next line basically after this label ends we will have an input field input type will be of phone name parameter we will give phone the value binded here will be coming from the state this dot state dot phone and uh, on change we will just bind the on change event handler to it so when the value changes this event will fire this dot on change and we will be giving a class name to it of form control so just do it close it and now basically if you now see we will have a input field out there nothing is shown here let me paste it here so just after this diff So it is saying that, let me see. Uh, child component. So I have given this source code guys in the description of this live stream. So let me paste it here. It is slightly complicated file, so let me paste it and explain to you what is happening. So basically we have this, uh, uh, if I show you now, this is our input field here. So basically if you write uh, any in a negative number, if you submit it, you will see phone number not valid. So this is now checking this function, this regular expression, whenever you click the submit button, this will call this this dot on submit. So here we have written this function on submit so basically it is now calling this method which is phone validation inside this phone validation what we are doing is we are doing this regular expression check so this is the regular expression for validation of a phone number so a phone number contains exactly 10 digits this is mobile number on an STD number and then we are just returning whether that number is valid or not if it is valid then we are showing the bootstrap class of success or if this is not valid then we are saying phone number is not valid so basically if you write a correct number phone number is valid so this way in this way guys you can do phone number validation inside react chase using regular expression i have given all the source code in the description of this live stream so you can go to the description of this live stream to copy paste all the source code so we have built using bootstrap 4 all these classes that you see is bootstrap 4 so please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next live stream until then thank you very much